one of the superintendents of the local canal here and he's talking to us today about some of the problems they've been having with the muskrats and the beavers. This canal is over 120 years old. The biggest risk is when these canals breach. It's a lot of water, causes a lot of damage. The main thing is we don't want to kill anybody. We don't want to ruin anybody's house. We don't want to flood any neighborhoods. See the dens and the holes down through here probably two months ago had a major landslide toward the canal ended up breaching and flooded down to the downstream side and we got to be here to try to prevent it as much as possible so that's what we're trying to do the great thing is we can do it in a 100 percent natural way doing us a big favor here he's watching me i'm looking mm. Send Bella up there, see if she pulls it. <laughs> now please don't get in the water because we don't want it to get muddy, okay? <laughs> Bella, Bella, Bella. Can you make sure you keep an eye on it, Bella? Bella, Bella, Bella. sign right there and then over there both holes look there's two holes i totally missed it so it could be right where boone's going oh to the right is where it looked like he's not he's not interested i don't know it could be anywhere in here He's in that hole. I guess it's a... He entered down there though, huh? Yeah. So I guess it's not a hole, it was one of those tunnels. Up here. He caught something. What did he found? What you said? Let's see if he'll find it on his own. I'll throw a rock if he doesn't. Yeah, see, he can smell it's here. Let's see if he'll find it. Smell, there's an entrance somewhere here. There you go. There he goes. That's a muskrat. He's a mink. mink. Mm hmm. Ferrets are terrestrial, mink are semi aquatic. Yeah, you couldn't be doing this with a um, ferret, they don't like water. <laughs> Oh, here, comes, here comes the muskrat. 
There it is. Are you, Olive, out of my way, honey. There's another muskrat. Oh, I see them. There's that muskrat. There's two muskrats. Yeah, be careful throwing oh, stuff. Right here. Yeah, I know. Be careful when you do that so you don't hurt the mink. Try not to throw stuff. Yeah. Where is Boon? I only see one. So we see. Oh. Here's Boon. Just past him. Do I stick with the mink? Yeah, stick with the mink. The muskrat just went that way. Okay, yeah, try not to throw stuff now. Yeah, he he thinks. Here, here, here. So Joe throws rocks and he goes. He it's yeah. Rat. So we don't want to distract him. <laughs> Come on, buddy, keep going. I'm almost got it. Boom! Boom! We got, oh, got it. We got it. Good job, son. Did you eat it? Yeah. Not right now, but because we, we need to prepare it first. We make sure yes. her sides now die by freezing. Okay. So, so what yeah. he's gonna eat right now that what he has in his on the bag. Yeah, it's from previous hunts. Do you post these on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, we have a channel. I'll have to find it. Just type mink or the mink, mink man. man. The mink man? Yeah. Do you have the beavers on that too? Yeah. I saw the beaver. I thought you were bringing dogs. Well, but... actually, the beavers won't go on YouTube because of their policies. Censorship? The beaver, beavers go on a private channel. Oh. But we do film those too. But... Yeah, well, I saw you here last week when I was... This is a lot cooler than last week, huh? Yeah, last week they're like, hey, here's a beaver. And I was waiting for it to run downstream. Next thing I know, I had to walk around. I wonder around where the other one went. She dragged it up was with the crayfish. Good job, Boone. Do you have another mink, Joe? No, we'll call it a day. That's a good mink. Good job, Boone. That's such a good mink. Take your depot. She has waders on it. Oh, yeah. No, they like quail and quail eggs. Uh, muskrats? Yeah. No, no, they brown eat. Rats. Yeah, that's all right. All the valley. Clam traps. Come here, sweet girl. Who wants to carry the muskrat back to the truck? Alright, so that was a fun little day. Got to cover a lot of country with Boone. Found the muskrat. I was happy to see him find the hole all on his own. I didn't give him any clues. That's what shows you've got a good mink for muskrats. Is that all on their own they'll find those completely submerged underwater burrows. I mean that's obviously one of many things, but it's an important one. 
just like grit and, and confidence, I would say that's just as high. But no matter how confident or gritty they are, if you can't, if you, if you can't get them to go in the hole, it doesn't matter. The muskrat's pretty well safe. So those two things I would say are some of the most important uh, skills and abilities you want a mink to have is the grit and confidence to kill them and the know-how to find their holes. Boone did a great job. Thanks for watching guys. We'll show you more next time. Now I'm sure you guys are familiar with YouTube censorship. They've got some serious censorship issues going on in YouTube and their policies are constantly changing. So I created the Mink Man's Exclusive Club where I can share these exclusive videos as well as give you guys a more behind the scenes look at our lives and how we train our animals. In YouTube, you guys see one or two videos a week, whereas I'm typically posting anywhere from three to six videos a week on my Mink Man's exclusive club. Now this club is more than just videos. People can ask me questions directly. They could even send me private messages. I can also share interesting stories that maybe I didn't capture on video. I can share interesting statistics on my different mink or dogs and really just give you guys an inside look on what we do and on my animals' lives. I really appreciate you following me here on YouTube, but if you want to get a behind the scenes look and be able to watch these exclusive videos that YouTube censors out, you'll need to join us on Mink Man's exclusive club.